Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to take a look at a request which is to do with effects routing. So the, the question which prompted this was I'd like to start with a dry guitar signal then apply reverb for example and pan the dry signal right and the affected signal left and Scott has found that he can't do this in the way that he wants so you can't end up with just uh, the dry signal on one side and the wet signal on the other because most reverbs don't come with pan controls and even if they did it wouldn't it wouldn't work in this way but it is possible to achieve this kind of thing and a few other things which we're going to uh, just briefly take a look at via the routing part of the channel settings window. So that's what we're going to be looking at today. So here, here's the setup. It's a simple just guitar loop from the standard VST sound. Just so we can hear the reverb. Nothing particularly exciting about that. So first things first, obviously going to add an effects channel. So in fact, I'm going to add it to selected channels there. Now here is an important thing. If you choose Roomworks, this will not work. Okay, so Roomworks doesn't allow us to do this. I think because it probably isn't surround capable, etc. But anyway, it doesn't it doesn't work in the way that I wanted. So we're going to use Reverence, and I'm just going to call this uh, Reverb because that's what it is. So there's our Reverb setup. We're going to come back to that in a second. We can see that on the channel that's just set this. So we have a send. It's turned on, turned up, ready to go, and now we have. Reverb there. So that's clearly working on both channels. So let's take a look at the, the issue. So the issue that Scott's talking about is that if we pan this using the balance panner, yeah, we're getting that, but the problem is then clearly we're getting reverb on one side, but we're not getting anything on the other side. So if we change the send to pre and turn this down so now we're only going to hear the effects channel so we'll really hear the problem so the problem is that yeah we've got as you can hear now you can hear the reverb on your left side but there's nothing on the right side so it's totally unbalanced so what we want to do is create a way of making this more balanced so opening this up I'm just going to set that back to central and you'll hear that back in the middle and this is under the routing section here. So this is a little bit, I find it a little bit clunky. It's not the most friendly part of uh, this whole affair. I think it's a bit neglected. Anyway, so opening this up in the routing editor, you can see here is the effect and we've got the left and right channels running through. So this is pretty standard routing. So what we want to do is to change that and it's not, actually immediately apparent how you can do this but the way that I found to do it is if you click the little triangle and change it to mono so now the right signal is coming directly through so it's not passing through the effect and the left signal is going through the effect and again if we open that up in the routing editor we will see that so there you can see the left channel is going through reverence and the right channel isn't so if we play this now you will hear So on the right channel, now we have the direct signal and on the left channel, we have the reverbed audio. But the, the issue we now have is that the direct sound is much louder than the reverb sound, as you can clearly hear. So we need some way of fixing that and we can actually do that. So we need a utility, which is just going to turn down the volume of the, in this case, right channel. So I found that if I add in a mix convert, plug in because this has got a volume control that's the only thing I'm using this for here and again go to routing and this time I'm going to change this one to mono but now we're going to swap this over because I want the mix convert to affect the right hand channel and we can do that in the routing editor and just by pressing this button here because they're linked you can unlink it and get into all sorts of shenanigans, but I'll leave you to play around with that. But now the left channel isn't being affected by it, but the right channel is. And now we can turn down this gain. So if we turn it down by about 10 dB, we're getting roughly, maybe a little bit more. So now we've got something where the right channel is dry, the left channel is reverbed, and they're of similar level. So now you've got something approximating what you, you may want in that case, if you want to have that kind of thing. So now bringing up this reverb when we are in post mode, or it's much more balanced. So that will allow you to to control that kind of thing. But we can take this a little bit further. So I'm actually going to bypass the mix convert. 
and you can put in another reverence and pick a different reverb. So let's pick something a little bit more expansive. So the, the ballroom. And now in the routing section, we can make this one mono, but then flip it around so it is only affecting the right channel and now we've got one reverb in the left and one reverb in the right so so you can hear you've got much more reverb on the right hand side you probably hear it better on headphones so there's there's all sorts of possibilities here so if you ever wanted an effect where you, maybe you've got phaser on the left channel and flanger on the right channel this is how you can achieve it in a single effects channel rather than having to have two separate ones that then you pan etc so that's one way of using the routing part of the channel settings window. I hope you find that useful and we'll see you again soon.